Uh, we started the company around the same time Svika started Innovit, so it's been a while, and a very audacious goal to power any video experience for any organization, and there's quite a lot of different organizations out there. And today we're already powering experiences through our companies or through our customers for hundreds of millions of people at work, at school, in their uh, homes. And the way we do this is we provide a very wide array of video SaaS solutions. Some of them address what we could call kind of general purpose use for any company, and some of them are industry specific, and we'll talk about that. But all of them, and that's very unique for Kultura, are built atop one single platform as a service with about 1,000 APIs that we had built. Now, that same platform as a service is used by our customers in order to customize, integrate our products, but it is also used by some to build whole new separate video products and workflows, and we'll talk about that. You could treat that platform as a service as an end-to-end, -end, what we call glass-to-glass, -glass, from the glass of the camera to the glass of the screen management, and it runs on any environment, so we run it on any cloud, public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud, on-premise, and basically controls everything in the middle. So how do you upload video, manage it, distribute, um, manage the metadata structures, security, analytics, the entirety of the life cycle of video, touching on the creation of video on the left, tools that we provide for capturing video, webcasting it both live and on demand, connecting it on the right to any environment. So it's either our video players or embed codes or video portals that we launch or integrations into a myriad of different products as well as running on set-top boxes and beyond. So the way, and obviously it's a very wide array of things, so let's try to break it down. We have SaaS and PaaS. On the SaaS side, as I mentioned, we have video solutions for any organizations. And these, by and large, are divided into two groups. One is internally within the companies for what we call digital workplace. It's video that supports learning, training, collaboration, communication. And the second is for customer experience. This is video tools that are supporting sales, marketing, customer care. And then the industry-specific video solutions. Today we have two industries that we focus on. We're pretty sure I'll soon talk about others that we're aiming for, media and telecom and education. On the media and telecom side, we provide tools for, con for media content companies to publish and distribute and monetize their videos. And for telcos operators, we launch full-blown television experiences. So for those living in Israel, if you look at uh, Cellcom TV or Partner TV, not our platform, but you can imagine that same type of experience for uh, providers to run television both live, on demand, on set-top boxes and beyond. In education for schools, we provide videos that are supportive both of the teaching and learning in the classroom and outside, admissions, events, sports, libraries, digital repositories, and all of that separate from our PaaS offering, which enables you to build any video experience. So these are the solutions. Let's talk a little bit about the product ever since we started at 2006, myself and my three other co-founders. So in 2008, after a little bit of a pivot, just to give a feel for products, we launched our first product. We built our platform as a service, and we launched what's called an OVP, an online video product or platform, to support publishing a video in just regular uh, publishers. So it started from very small ones, ended up being the big media companies like Disney, Fox, ABC, et cetera. After that, we started pivoting into the enterprise and launched a white label video portal that basically enables you a YouTube-like experience in the company, integrated into your single sign-on, and also went to education and plugged this into the learning systems, Blackboard, Moodle, Sakai for universities. After that, we started getting deeper in the enterprise and connecting our system into the ECMs, and then going for live. We started VOD, then we went for webcasting. In 2014, we launched our webcasting product and went deeper into integrations for social, and then on media, when we started originally years before, it was really web distribution and publishing. Then in 2014, we acquired a great company in Israel called Tivinci, and we went for full-blown television experiences for telcos and operators. 2015, we, st we also launched a personal capture tools uh, that enable you to record videos, plus screen captures, plus automatic transcripting for classes and beyond. 2016, we started selling our past standalone, not just to support our product, and we got into marketing automation, so enabling video as part of Marketo, Eloqua, flows of that nature. 2017, we took our entire television infrastructure and moved it to the cloud, and now we're the, amongst the very first in the world to offer a full cloud television for the big service providers, and then got into schools for lecture capturing, so getting into your regular frontal captures connected into the hardware devices uh, to transcript everything. And this year, we're working on video for sales enablement. We're going to add web 
WebRTC. So if you can consider, we already did video on demand and one to many through webcast. Now we're going to do one to one through Web WebRTC and we're going to own the entire video stack um, in its entirety. And we're also adding some interactive video. When we think about the future, a lot of focus on AI, automatic video creation and targeting, AR and VR, and adding new industries, just like we did education and media. We're going to get into insurance, e-banking, retail, smart cities, and more. So when you think about video, it's ubiquitous, and it's basically running across, and any company needs it, just like they use Twilio or Stripe or New Relic. Kultura is a video company. So we do that uh, for 20% of the Fortune 500, 100, Intel, SAP, Accenture, Oracle, many others. And what's interesting is they use this across the entire use case, uh, from learning, training, collaboration to marketing, sales, and they pay us sometimes north of a million dollars a year recurring as a customer. So these are big customers paying for us to be the be all end all. Just a case of SAP, we started with them with a video portal and uh, today somewhere around 250,000 videos a month with that single customer internally. And then they started using us externally with Hybris, recently adopted it for all of their sales enablement at SAP. So salespeople are sending clips before and after sales meetings and now in the process of adding it to sales training, coaching and webcasting. So we go across for all corporate enterprise use for video. In the world of media, we touch customers Customers, including Disney, ABC, Turner, Viacom, and big operators um, that are touching more than a billion users. And just to give a feel, in Vodafone, the large, second largest mobile operator, 700 million subscribers, we are the infrastructure for all video. There, we're competing successfully against Ericsson, Huawei, big companies, and winning or taking over a business. Um, and we're touching all of their television experience from live on demand catch up uh, and reaching millions and millions of end users. Customers of this vertical are paying, could get to tens of million a year recurring. So it's very significant, large customers. In education, we're in 15 of the top 20 schools. And and just to give a feel, some of these individual schools are actually statewide systems. And so, for example, in the Indiana State and in Indiana University, we're touching 114,000 students and faculty and a supportive video both inside the university for classroom experiences and portals and external for their e-learning. And lastly, in our platform as a service, and this is what's interesting for technology companies such as some of you guys in the crowd and beyond, we're enabling these companies to launch video experiences. So for last month we closed with Saba, an education LMS or enterprise LMS, uh, and all their videos powered by Kaltura before that check for education and many other companies that are building their video experiences. So just as an example for that, Thomson Reuters have a system called the Reuters Insider to run information for financial community, for traders, all of their video are powered by Kaltura and they're reselling the system that enables to aggregate content, extract metadata, transcript the video, discover the video, et cetera. All of them are choosing us because we're already considered the leader in the space. This is Gartner Forrester. We're so lucky to be on the far extreme right in Forrester. Hopefully if we don't fall from there, we go all the way to back to the left. Um, and we're endorsed uh, by many. What's interesting is people don't see it as just as a commodity video enabler like a video player but enabling collaboration, enabling education, enabling interactivity. Um, more than 1,000 customers, 150,000 developers in our community outside of the company, uh, and many tech partners, and it's all powered by about 450 employees, 250 here. We raised about 160 of which uh, 130 in equity from all the investors noted below. And it's just the beginning. Our addressable market is growing rapidly, and we're growing very rapidly with it, so it's, of course, a multi, multi-billion dollar market. And as I sum up, um, First of all, the video pass. One, one thing that's interesting is that alignment between product and culture. When we started the company, it was about promoting pluralism, democratizing media, and being a company that is open and flexible. And so we built an infrastructure that is open and flexible, a pass, a Lego-like architecture. And we're true to that culture, and we're also true to that uh, specialty, and it runs in any environment. The second is, the entirety of SaaS horizontally and vertically. The silver lining and winning in so many markets is if the same capability that enabled you to open up new markets enables you to win within every market. Otherwise, you end up spreading yourself too thin. In our case, the Lego architecture enables us to launch more products, but it also enables every customer in every vertical to integrate better, customize better. We're by now proven, and we have a very vibrant ecosystem and strong financials and powerful backers. So I just want to leave you, this is going the other direction, uh, with an invitation to talk to us uh, we're separated into two business units for those in Israel. Michal uh, is leading uh, enterprise and learning, and Shai is leading media. If any of you is a media company or a school or corporates, which we all are, you want to use video or integrate it into your offering, please come talk to us. We could help you harness the power of video. And obviously on the BizDevCorpDev, Edo, 
is looking for partners from many other video technology companies. So if you have any component or you want to piggyback with us and reach many, many, many customers, we partner, like I said, with 170 companies. So we're happy to work together. Thank you very much.